a new car, called the Monolith, where the company which created the new vehicle, proudly tells the specifications of their car. The vehicle has been designed to be the safest thing on the road, with adamantine body armor, bulletproof windows, and even a safe mode. The president of the company says, that this is the safest car for your family. Then the film shifts to an actual shot of the car, with a mother and child on board. The mother and the child are on the road, and the mother tries to turn on the music for her child, when the AI of the car activates, and starts to communicate with the mother. We discover that the name of the mother is Sandra, and the child's name is David. Sandra asks the car to tell her weight, and it tells her that she weighs around 122.4 pounds. She then asks the car if it records the data, and it tells her that, it in fact does. The car then shows her the record of four people that have been on the car. One of them is Carl, who is Sandra's husband, and three other people, one of whom Sandra doesn't recognize. Sandra then receives a call from Carl, and they start to talk. Carl asks if she likes the car, and Sandra says, that she wasn't expecting an armored tank. Carl tells her, that he would do anything to keep his son safe. Carl then says, that he loves Sandra, and the call cuts. Sandra stops at what looks like a gas station, and while she is changing David's diaper, a couple of girls come into the restroom, and Sandra looks at them wistfully, saying that she misses Venice, but then looks at David, and tells him that she loves him. She then goes into the store at the gas station, and buys some things. While she is in the store, she is stopped by a man, who says that he recognizes her. Sandra at first denies it, but he recalls that she is from a former band called Hipstars. The man invites her to a party, but she says that she is with her son. After the conversation, she calls David, but can't seem to find him. After calling him a couple of times, she starts to panic, and starts running around the store calling for him. She then goes outside, and sees David sitting in a car, with a couple of girls with him. After grabbing David, she tells off the girls for not telling her where her baby is. After she gets in the car, she sees a guy coming towards the car, telling her that her shouting at the girls was not cool. Sandra locks the car and drives off. The AI asks her, whether she wants to drive the car, but Sandra declines. Sandra turns on a song, and then tells David, that she heard this song the first time she met her father, and that at that time, he had another wife, but he chose her. Sandra drives in the direction of Carl's parents' house, and she calls a friend, and tells her about the people who remembered them. She is on a call with her friend, when Lilith tells her that they have arrived at the destination. Sandra asks her friend Jessa, about who she is with, and whether it is Carl, Jessa tells her that she has to go, and she isn't the one who is sleeping with her husband. Sandra gets angry, and tries calling Carl, but he doesn't pick up his phone. After discovering Carl's infidelity, she chooses to reroute the voyage, and head for Los Angeles. Sandra tries calling Carl again, but he once again doesn't pick up the call, and she gets annoyed, and gives her son the phone, and tells her son that his daddy is going to receive a surprise. The AI tells Sandra, that there is an accident on the freeway, Sandra tells her to take the shortest route there. Sandra is then advised to take an off-road path by Lilith, which tells her that she can't drive, but Sandra says that she can do this. They continue traveling on the deserted route, and Sandra thinks that they have discovered life, but it is, in truth, a small power station, and they continue on the journey. Sandra starts a cigarette to unwind on the way, but Lilith sets off the car's smoke alarm. Sandra tells the AI to turn off the smoke alarm, and says that she has opened the windows. But Lilith continues pestering her, so she turns off the alarm, which also turns off all the other features of the car. Sandra is distracted by the commotion, and the automobile collides with a wild deer. Sandra shouts in fear, and looks around to see what has occurred. She hands her crying kid her smartphone, which he uses to play a game. David is playing with the monolith app, that Carl had placed on Sandra's phone while she is outside the car. Sandra sees that she has hit a deer, and freaks out while David continues to cry. She tells him to stop crying, and stands outside the car, wondering what to do. David continues playing with the app, and while moving his fingers around the car, he locks it. Sandra rushes to the car, and calls David, and asks him what he has pushed, and tells him to show her the phone. She tries to guide David to open the car, but he can't seem to understand, Sandra starts losing patience, and starts to get angry, poor David panics, and drops the phone beneath the seat, preventing Sandra from entering. Sandra tries to call out Lilith, and screams at it to open the door, but there is no response, she tries pulling at the door but to no avail. Sandra starts to hear noises, and goes to walk to the edge of the road to find something that will help. She grabs a huge rock, 
and tries to use it to break open the car windows, and the alarm is activated, which causes David to cry. Sandra then begins exploring alternative methods to open the car, hoping to get assistance at a nearby electric charging station, but she is unable to locate anybody, and spends the night on the top of the vehicle. Sandra begins to walk around the desert, near the monolith automobile, after a night of dreams. She discovers an abandoned plane at a remote airfield, where she creates a distress signal, by burning tires with booze from the plane's minibar, and discovers an empty bottle. She then comes upon a stream of water, thirsty. After some time, she returns to the monolith, where her son David, is battling to breathe, and losing consciousness in his child safety seat, as the warmth of the car climbs, since the air conditioner is turned off. Sandra tries to open the automobile, by starting a small fire with gasoline and sticks, setting off the smoke alarm. She extinguishes the fire, with the water she discovered, as she realizes David is at risk of losing consciousness. A hungry coyote then attacks the monolith, and Sandra. Sandra successfully drives him away and, for the hundredth time, attempts in vain to open the car. Sandra finds that her kid is comatose, after another night of nightmares, despite the fact that he had moved his hand slightly the day before. When Sandra discovers that the coyote has returned, she begins to lose hope. She tries to fight the coyote, with a wrench she got at the power station, but it bites her ankle. Sandra recognizes that the coyote is after the deer corpse, but as soon as it begins to feast, the monolith vehicle begins to move down the hill. Sandra breaks the automobile with the help of a nearby stone. Later, she has an idea. Sandra had stopped at a petrol station to buy supplies before heading to the desert, and watched on TV a cartoon, similar to Wiley E. Coyote, in which a wolf tosses a safe off a cliff, to reclaim a diamond. She is inspired by this, and chooses to push the car further away from the slope, breaking the stone with the wrench, and terrifying the coyote into fleeing. As the monolith falls, its doors open, allowing Sandra to retrieve the little David, who appears to be dying. Sandra unwillingly depends on Lilith, and reactivates her to get out of the hole they appear to be in, selecting the off-road mode, and rescuing herself and the infant. They manage to reach the hospital, and we see Sandra asking the doctors, if he will be okay. Then the film shows Sandra, as she watches David waking up in a hospital, and the infant calls her mommy for the first time. 